Hey everybody, it's Bruce here, and today we're going to be back to some Python learning. And again, this is geared towards the beginner Python programmer. And today what I wanted to do was show you how we could use a list to collect items maybe that someone is placing into a shopping cart and then at the end um, print out the number of items, uh, the, the quantity for each item that somebody placed into the cart. Think of it as a shopping cart. Maybe you're going to Home Depot, which is a home improvement store located here in the United States. So I'm in Visual Studio Code, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable called cart. I'm then going to set it to be an empty list. And these square brackets represent just that, an empty list. There's nothing in it. When we, um, when we prompt the person who is quote-unquote shopping, we are going to uh, append items to this list. So let's go through it. For now, I'm just going to create a while loop. Some of you call this uh, for a forever loop if you're coming from scratch. So what I want to do here is I want to ask the uh, person right to uh, add an item to the shopping cart. So uh, place the actually here we're going to say enter the item you placed into the cart. Okay, cart, just like that. We're also going to uh, place it, uh, force it to lowercase, and let's strip off any additional spaces that the user may enter, you know, while typing, most likely accidentally. All right, so we, we, we're prompting the person to enter the item, and then what we want to do, in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say if item. So what that's going to do in Python is if somebody types something in, that's going to evaluate to true here on the conditional on line 5. So if they did type something in, let's take the cart variable and call the append method, which is available for lists, and let's append to it the item that they, they typed in. If they just hit the enter key, let's just break out of the loop and, um, and, and then we'll carry on with some more uh, steps below this. So just to show you what's going on here, if I uh, run Python, I call this lists-1.py, right? I'll enter an item. So I wanted a hammer and uh, I added to the card a screw driver and oops I needed two hammers by the way so I entered hammer again and then I needed some nails and I needed some duct tape all right so I'm done and remember I can just hit enter at this point and my forever loop there my while my infinite while loop there got broken out of, right? I broke out of it on line eight because I, I fell through the else on line seven. All right, so that's kind of our cart. And just to show you here, if I just print out the cart variable, and let me just run this again here. Let me clear. Let me run the command again. So I'll do a hammer, a screw driver, and I did another hammer duct tape, right, and nails, right? And if I just hit enter again, you can see that the list right now contains uh, five items, right? Five list elements, right? The hammer, the screwdriver, the hammer again, the duct tape, and the nails, okay? So if you are not clear about that at this point, you know, type in the code, run through this stuff as I do it. And by the way, thank you to all of my new subscribers here on YouTube. Thanks for liking the videos, if you like them, uh, and uh, leaving comments. They, again, this whole um, endeavor here means a, a lot to me. So 
now that we, we've created our, our code here to populate right this list, this cart variable that contains a list of the items that were, we want to purchase at, at Home Depot, right? Um, I was able to show you that list right here. So I'm going to comment out that line. And what I'm going to do now is I am going to, uh, I want to, the goal here, right, is to create like a receipt, right, a list of, you know, two hammers, right, one nails, uh, one screwdriver, one duct tape, right, and that's what you see kind of on a receipt, right, you'll see like the quantity of items, right, uh, and then the actual item that you purchased. Now, let me just show you something new. Maybe you don't know about this, right? But there is, right, a Python function called set, S-E-T. And actually, I'm going to get rid of this line here. So if I say here items, and I'm just creating a new variable, the items in the cart, or actually, uh, no, we'll just leave it as this. I can say take the set of the cart. And what this does is it finds all of the unique items, right? So remember, I entered hammer twice, right? So what this set is gonna create, in fact, let me just show you again. I'm gonna print out items here, just so you can see it, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this again. I'll do hammer, I'll do screwdriver, and I'll do hammer again, then I'll do duct tape, and nails. Again, the order is changing, but that doesn't matter. I'll hit enter. And now look what we have. We have all of the unique items from uh, our cart, a screwdriver, a duct tape, hammer, and nails, right? Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, hey, Bruce, wait, uh, we got two hammers. Yeah, but right now, what I want to do is identify all of the unique things in our particular cart, okay? So that's cool. So I just showed you that we can now get a unique set of the items in the cart. Now, with a list, we can iterate through um, each item in a list using a for loop, right? So I can say for every item, and I'm just, this is a, a variable, for every item in the cart, okay? And what this is going to do, and let me just show you, okay? I'm going to comment out this line. Uh, no, I'm not going to comment out that line. So what I'm going to do just now, right, is I'm going to run this again because it's good to see this stuff step by step. Hammer, screwdriver, screwdriver, hammer, because I forgot, duct tape, and nails, right? So I'm going to hit enter, and you'll see that it did, in fact, print out now each of the items in the cart. All right, so how do I now take, right, all of the code I've developed so far, but print out the quantity, right? I don't want to print out hammer, uh, hammer twice. I want to print out that I bought two hammers, right? I bought two hammers. So what I can do, right, is I can say, hey, cart, right, you're a, you're a, list. And one of the methods available to list is count. And what I can do at this point, right, is I can, um, I can, uh, actually, I did this a little bit wrong, and which is, which is okay. So I showed you how I could iterate through all of the items in the cart. But honestly, what I want to do is I want to go through each item, right, in the items, right, which is this thing right here. And what I want to do, right, is I want to say, hey, cart, count how many of those each item do you have? Count them. So this is kind of kind of new, right? So we're iterating through the set one unique element at a time. And then I'm saying, hey, cart, with everything in it, go and count how many of those you have. And then what I can do after that, and I'll, I'm gonna make this into an F string, which you're probably familiar with at this point. So there's that, I'm gonna place it in curly braces. 
uh, yeah, just like that. And then I'm going to put a dash. And then I'm actually going to, um, I need to just print out that item, right? What that, that item actually is. So watch this. This is, this is cool. And when I learned how to do this, um, I was like, cool. All right. Because you're going to have a need, you're going to have the need as a Python programmer, right? To do this a lot. So let me run this code. Whoops. Let me run this code. Enter the item you place. So hammer, screwdriver, right? Hammer, duct tape, and nails, right? And look at that. It said you uh, want two hammers, one duct tape, one nails, and one screwdriver, right? I, I could probably, oh, look at that. They're kind of sorted. Huh, interesting. All right, let's just try this one more time, okay? Let's uh, do it backwards. So let me clear. But you can see that's that's pretty nifty, right? So here I go. Let me do uh, uh, nails, duct tape, right? Uh, hammer, screwdriver, right? Hammer. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Ready? And look at that. So um, it's not sorted. I was incorrect about that. We could sort that list if we wanted to, right? But look at that. Just look at that. One screwdriver, one nails, one duct tape, and two hammers. So let's stop right here right now. And uh, I, I hope that you saw what we could do here. And I've, I've had to use this particular you know, technique a lot. In, in, in the work that I do. And, you know, if you're a more advanced coder and you do things differently, cool. Um, there's so many different ways to do things as a coder, right? There's no uh, one right way to do these types of things. So um, that's it for today. Again, thanks to all of you new subscribers. Please consider uh, uh, smashing that subscribe button and the like button. Uh, if you like what you're saying, and uh, stay tuned for more daily Python and web development videos. I hope you're all doing well. Take care.